take two seems like you're pretty fired up. What are, what are your feelings? Take about two. It? I'm just I, I'm so excited. I mean, I got I got picked to a great organization. Uh, Mr. Robinson was a great man when I met him on my visit, and um, I had a great visit when I went up there. Uh, I got to see Coach Rabel, Coach Carter. Um, I mean, it was just a great time, and that was one of the first places I visited. And all I re- all I remember from that visit and what I caught from that is be ready to work. If we do pick you, if you do get an opportunity to become a Tennessee Titan, be ready to work, be ready to compete, because that's what they do every single day. And that's my that's my mantra. That's how I am every single day. So I'm just ready to compete. I'm ready to work for the team. I'm ready to help this team win. And I just want to be the best team that I can for the Tennessee Titans. Hey, Nick, uh, do you see yourself as more of a right tackle or a left tackle? Or what, what kind of role do you envision uh, for yourself? I hope my role is that I'm the best teammate on the team. That's my role. Whether it's right tackle, left tackle, center, guard, hell, I play long snapper. You know what I mean? Like whatever it takes for the team to win, I just want to do that. That's my only. That's my number one goal. That's what I told all the teams when they were asking me, like, how do you envision yourself in the league? What do you envision for yourself? I said, my number one goal is for me to win the Super Bowl. I just want to help whatever team I can get to that point and achieve that goal. And my second role is I want to be the best teammate I can, you know? So me getting this opportunity to play for a great organization like Tennessee, we need to be under great coaches like Coach Carter and Coach Variable. Um, I'm just I'm more than I'm more than happy. I'm blessed. You know, it's a wonderful opportunity. Uh, I want to thank all my family. I want to thank my coaches from Ohio State, coaches in Little League, coaches in high school, just whoever I can thank. I just want to say thank you to them, and I'm just ready for me to go and compete with Tennessee. What do you know about the uh, personnel on the, on the offensive line here, uh, Nicholas, and, and uh, you know where he might fit in potentially with a couple of vacancies here? Um, they have a great group. I mean, you know, Taylor Long was a great tackle for them last year. Uh, they just got Jamarco Jones from Seattle, so that's an Ohio State connection. You know what I mean? So at least we have two Ohio State guys in the whole line room. Hopefully we can make it more O-line, Ohio State guys, but whoever we put in there, uh, it's just a great room. Uh, when I talked to Coach Carter and he talked about the boys, he said every, about the boys, every single one of them, their main goal is they want to work hard, they want to compete, and they don't take anything for granted. They always try to – they always train as hard as they can, whether it's in-season or off-season, and I'm just ready to be a part of that. What do you think about blocking for Derek Henry? Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Like, there, I mean, there's only a few people that you could say, hey, I got a chance to block for that would make you be able to have stories about. And to be able to, be able to block for someone like Derek Henry, one of the best running backs in the league, and one of the best running backs ever to play college football, I mean, oh, my God. It's, it's such a blessing. Um, I hope I get a chance to meet him. I hope me and him become great friends. Who knows? Maybe we become great friends. And I just want to be able to block for him as best as I can. I want to support him. I want to make sure that he's the best player he can ever be. If you measure yourself in terms of run blocking versus pass protection at this stage. Uh, can you say that again? How do you measure yourself uh, as a pass protector versus a run blocker at this stage? I think I'm good in both areas, but I'm willing to be coached. I'm ready to be coached. That's what I told all the coaches um, whenever I was at the Combine, what I told Tennessee when I visited, I said, Hey, I think I'm a great player. I think I have a lot of tangibles that make me a good guy. But I said I'm coachable. And I said that there's more things that I can learn about playing offensive line play. Like, I'm not done yet. I'm not someone that thinks that just because I hit a certain point in my life and my career that I can't be coached, that I can't be taught new things. And I'm so excited for me to work with Coach Carter and learn some new techniques, learn new things, and become a better offensive lineman overall. So whether it's run blocking or pass blocking, I feel like I'm good in both areas. But there's way, there's way more ways for me to improve. When people watch you on film, what do you want them to see? I want them to see someone that plays every single play like it's their last play. I want them to see effort on the first play of the game, on the last play of the game, somewhere in between. I, that's the one thing that I know I can control every single time, which is if I'm on the field, I want to give all the effort I can, you know? So that's the one thing I want te- people to say is like, man, that guy plays hard because that's football at the end of the day. I mean, you may you may have guys that are big, you may have guys that are strong, that's guys that are sm- smart, fast, whatever it is. But at the end of the day, if you ever watch football, the guys that you really like watching are the guys that play their hardest every single play. That have a type of toughness, a type of grit to them. That's envisioned. That shows you what it means to be a football player and what the game of football brings. Nick, how much earlier in your career was it a struggle to keep on weight, and have you been able to do that here later in your career to where you feel like that was an issue in the pro? Uh, I feel like it'll be greater in the pros. I mean, like, I mean, think about it. I'm going to Tennessee, one of the better, one of the best organizations in the NFL. 
They'll have great nutritionists. They'll have great food. I mean, first of all, it's Nashville, Tennessee. So I'm imagining they're going to have some good food down there when I get over there. So weight's not going to be an issue anyway. But I've already figured it out when I was at Ohio State about how to maintain. I mean, Coach Mix helped me out a lot from Coach Mick, Coach Doug, Coach Day. It was the whole thing about making sure, hey, not only are we going to feed you and make sure that you get up to your weight and maintain, but we're not only going to feed you to get to that weight, we're going to make sure that you're playing at a weight that makes you optimal. And that comes from your body weight percentage. I mean, I think the highest I ever got was 23%. I think when I got to the combine, I was around like 18 to 20% body fat. And for an office alignment, that's crazy, you know? So I just, so I know that I'm going to go to Tennessee. They're going to do the same things with me. They're going to make me bigger, faster, and stronger than I ever could even imagine. And I just can't wait for it. You a, you a hot chicken guy or we could be eating down here in Nashville? Oh, I'll, I'll do hot chicken, but I know I know you guys got some ribs down there, so uh, I'm ready. I'm ready for that. That's gonna be exciting. I want to see what type of ribs y'all got. What's going on at your house tonight? Oh, uh, it's a party. I mean, look. I mean, I I I, I told everyone. Uh, it didn't matter what what went round. I got drafted when I got drafted. I said, look, I'm gonna be excited for the first few minutes, but the minute once I once I kind of locked back in, I told him that look. You're going to see me be excited for a little while, but right after that, it's time to work. Like, it's, it's my mentality now is I'm ready for me to go to Nashville. I'm ready for me to train as hard as I can. I just want to get with strength coaches. I want to get Coach Carter. I want to get Coach Rabel. I want to ask them, hey, what do I need to do for me to train before I get to Nashville? What do I need to do for me to learn more, more off his line stuff before I get to Nashville? I'm not trying to start at day one. I'm trying to start at day. I'm trying to start, like, already ready for me to be part of the office line unit. I already be part of the team. I want to be a veteran when I get in there. I want to train like I'm a veteran. I want to learn like I, I want to learn like I'm a veteran. I want to practice like I'm a veteran. I want to do all the things that it takes to be a great player in the NFL. Uh, okay, we'll move to the uh, virtual questions now. Okay. All right, we've got two more for you. Kayla? Hey, welcome to Tennessee. Um, so <laughs> when it comes to College football, a lot of SEC talk down here. A lot of people asking questions about how does the SEC prepare you for the pros? For you, how do you feel like the Big Ten and the competition in the Big Ten and playing at Ohio State prepares you for this moment? And I think you briefly touched on it, but how ready would you be to come in and start? I mean, if you're asking about like the competition level, first of all, college football is one of the greatest sports um, in general. I mean, whether you're in a Big Ten, SEC, Pac-12, Big 12, whatever, ACC, whatever it is, whether it's to be D1, D2, NCAA college football is one of the most competitive environments you can ever be in. It doesn't matter what conference you're in. But if you're asking me and compare it from SEC to Big 10, I mean, both conferences do one thing, which is they have great teams. They have great pipeline. They have great pipeline schools like Alabama, Florida. Then you go to uh, then you go to the Big 10. You have Ohio State, team up north, Michigan State, Penn State, schools like that. I mean, you have all of these different schools that are pipeline schools that have great players at every single position that always develop every single year. And they have a certain, and they all have a tradition, you know what I mean? And that tradition stays not only from when they first were established and like, and whenever years they were, but to now, like those, those traditions keep being established, which is we're going to play hard. We're going to play tough. We're going to find guys that are in high school that are great people, not only, not only great players, but better people. You know, so if you're asking me what I think the Big Ten, how the Big Ten has prepared me, I think they prepare me to be one, a great player, two, a great learner and learning my playbook, three, a better person and being able to help the community and being able to be nice to people and being respectful to whoever I meet. And then if you're asking me what I, how do I feel when I get when I get to Tennessee about if I'm going to be a star or not, I just want to go compete. Like the end at the end goal, my goal is for me to help the team win a Super Bowl. And if I'm a starter there, that's great. That means I'm doing something amazing. If I'm not, I just want to make sure that I'm competing every single day. I'm pushing the guys next to me. I'm pushing my teammates, whatever I can do for me to help the team win. Harry? Nick, your bio said that you played basketball in high school. What did that look like for a guy your size, and how much did that help you with your footwork and agility for football playing tackle? Well, you know, I was a center and power forward, you know, playing basketball. So, you know, I was in the post. I had, I had to get tough down there, uh, especially playing football. That kind of gave me a little edge over some other basketball guys. I haven't really had to deal with football guys um, in the post. But, I mean, that's just – I mean, one thing I'll say with basketball, it's great for your feet. And if there's anything I can say to people around the world is, I don't think anyone should ever specialize in one sport, no matter what a coach or a trainer or whatever someone says. 
playing multiple sports is one of the best things you can do, especially in high school. Cause at the end of the day, just be a high school kid, like go play sports. Like when you're like, when you're back in the day, like people just, just play sports just to have fun. Like no one played to specialize in a sport and train for one sport. Like you would go, you would go play football with your friends. And then maybe down, maybe a little later down the, in the day, you would go play a little bit of basketball with your homies and just keep going from there or whatever sport you could play. So, I mean, just what I'll say is that basketball is great for feet coordination. It's great for hand-eye coordination as well. It's conditioning and things like that. But in general, just playing multiple sports is a great way for you to just hone in on different skills that you wouldn't think you would hone in on on the sport that you that you think that may be your main sport. Last question over in the media room. Dwight? I'm just wondering what that poster is over your shoulder. What we got? Oh, okay. Uh, you know what? That, that's a good one. Let's, let's look at this. So – um, that's heart power. So this is my high school. Okay. So this is, uh, Michael Fruit, Maya Hanatu, Alex McCray. That's me, Zach Mathis, Javon Cooper, Cody Benjamin. Mine's not in the picture. That's one of my, that's one of my D line guys, but that's one of the core tenets that we have is called heart power and character at Berkeley prep. So this is when I got my all American Jersey and they made a lot of great posters for us as seniors. And they were able to make things for us. And one of the core tenets of our program at Berkeley Prep is playing with heart power and playing with heart power and character. So whenever you step onto the field, you got to play like every single play is your last play, play for your teammates, play for the brothers around you. And we call that heart power, you know, and whenever you look at our Jersey, if you ever look at our helmets, um, let me see, actually, you know what? So you see this right here. So that's a heart. That's, that's heart power for Berkeley Prep. Okay. So that's one of the tenets we have at Berkeley Prep and that's what we do. I mean, here's all my seniors right here. So there's mine right here. So you didn't get a chance to see mine. But like, I'm, like what I'm trying to tell you is that like a lot of the things that I've learned from high school and from Coach Style, that was my high, high school head coach, I brought to Ohio State. And I hope I'm going to bring to Tennessee. And I hope that helps us win, help us win, it, win the Super Bowl. Because the one thing I learned from high school is for you to win a Super Bowl or for you to win games at any level, you need coaches who care about coaches, play, coaches who care about players, players who care about coaches, and players who care about players. So hopefully – once I get to Tennessee, I'm able to have those tenants be exuded through the team, however, however it is, whether it's by me being a great teammate, whether it's by me showing how hard I work every single day, whether it's by the heart power and character that I have on the field, whether it's by the grit and determination I have in terms of trying to get better every single day. I hope I can do that for the team. Thank you. Hey, yo, I got one more for you. How you pronounce your name and how many ways have you heard it butchered? All right, so I'll I'll start with the easy one. So it's Nicholas Petit Frere. So Petit, and then it's it's like fair, but then put an R in front of the F. So Frere. Um, and how many times I've heard it butchered? A lot, but you know what? It's been getting good. I mean, I've let I met a lot of people that know French. So it's French for little brother. I met a lot of people that know French that are able to speak it. Um, hopefully Tennessee has some people that know French too. But I'm just. I'm just happy to have the last name. I'm happy to represent my name well um, for my grandparents that um, recently passed away. I'm happy to represent them and have their name finally get, have their name become famous. Um, I'm happy to represent the name for my mom. Um, this is a huge moment for me and her. And if you, if you ever got a chance to ask coaches or anything like that, like what is the one thing Nick wants to do when he gets to the NFL in terms of like, what do you, what do you care about? Is that Nick wants to take care of his mom. Nick just wants to make sure that she never has to work another day in her life. And whether that would be through football or whatever job he had, he just wants to make sure that his mom's taken care of any way he can. So I'm glad, I'm glad I got a chance to play for, I'm glad I'm going to get a chance to play for Tennessee. I'm happy that I have all my people around me that they're out in the other room, they're celebrating and I'm more blessed to have an amazing mom and have an amazing family.